and enjoy the weather. If you need to do any of that last minute yard work, I know the city of Fort Wayne hasn't come around and collected my leaves yet, even though they're 10 days late. So you've still got time to take to the curb if you live on the south side of Fort Wayne. On Sunday, good day to do that. Monday and Tuesday, bad days to do that. That's because that's when we're tracking our next chance for snow. Here's future track at 7 a.m. We're going to see late night, overnight into early morning hours on Monday, rain change over to snow. By the time 7 a.m. rolls around, it should be mostly all snow, primarily along and east of I-69. Now, I think most of the viewing area gets in on some snow action throughout the day on Monday, with the heaviest of snow being east of I-69 and some lake effect snow flurries as well. The snow continues into Tuesday, 7 a.m. We're still seeing some snow, but then as we head into Tuesday afternoon, that snow begins to taper off a little bit, and then we should be dry by the time 7, 8 p.m. on Tuesday rolls around. Now, there are still some details we need to work out with this system over the next 24 to 48 hours. What path does the system take? It's swinging out of the south to the northeast, so if it's a little bit further west, we could see a bit more snow. If it's a little bit further east, we could see a little bit less snow. We've also got to worry about the timing of the cold air arriving. You know, if it doesn't match up exactly to when that weather system arrives, well, we could be seeing a little bit more rain, a little bit less snow. So that's why we're not so sure quite yet who will see how much snow. But here is the current forecast as of 11 p.m. Basically, right before we went on the air is when I got this forecast together. This is our second call. If you live Along I-69 and to the east, there's a possibility you see anywhere between two and four inches of snow. And how you should read this, basically Fort Wayne along I-69, about two inches, and then over into Ohio, three inches. And you can see west of I-69, up to two inches of snow as possible with lake effect snow flurries adding on to that.